Okay, YouTube, back again. Um, been a very busy week. I've uh, last over the last couple weeks, I've actually been working on the Marlin 37, as the video probably will be marked as the Marlin 37. Anyway, um, so I have been working on this piece right here. This is what I can assimilate or at least try to build as closely as I can without any measurements, specifications, other than a few things that I'm actually gonna insert right here. So, um, I wanted to, after going and looking online, I found pictures of some guns. I found some pieces of measurements from uh, Nimric, the gun com company. Um, but I think the pictures overall were the most helpful. Um, anyway, so I built this piece. Uh, it is the locking bolt for this Marlin pump, 37 pump. It's also, it also fits, um, let's see, I wrote it down somewhere. It also fits the Marlin 40, no, 29. Let's see, I wrote it down on a piece of paper here, I'm trying to find. Let's see if I can find my note that I wrote down. Oops, maybe I don't have it. Anyway, in the Nimric book, you can look it up. I think it's uh, like 29A. I want to say it's 47, the Marlin 37. Anyway, this is the 1 and 3 sixteenths version. This is not perfect by any means. This is my first try. Um, my machining in there, actually, I just drilled that out. Um, I need to invest in a mill or something to get those a little closer. But um, <clears throat> anyway, how this works. Uh, this is the action. Uh, it actually attaches in here and is meant to be the, um, I guess, the operating piece. Uh, I'm going to enter here a bunch of the pictures of this is this thing's metamorphosis. Um, some pictures of that. So here we go. Okay, so that was kind of how I built it, um, with mostly just hand tools, files, um, drills, and a little bit of welding, um, which I booger welded this a little bit, but I, it's not quite square. Um, anyway, so how this works, let's see if I can do it one-handed here. Um, so this is the slide piece, if you've got a Marlin 37, it slides in here. And if you get it all lined up in the place here, it is is this is what loads and removes the the shells, kicks the shell out. It's uh, it's the whole thing. Well, my piece that I built goes on the back side of this, um, and it works in conjunction with the firing pin. So. Basically, if I can get it to go together, uh, this goes in here, it pivots, and I believe the piece is actually supposed to be spring-loaded. Um, I just found a pin that worked, and then you have to fire the firing pin to get it to line up, and then you're there. And then you can see my machining's pretty bad right there. Um, but I do have enough that it can move, the firing pin can fire, um, it goes through the action part of it as well. 
Um, so then, now again, if I can do this one-handed, you can load this up here. This goes over there. Make sure that's on. And oh, missed it. There we go. Just like that. And then the other half of the gun comes in um, and attaches. And so far, I have been able to um, kind of cycle around through. I have not yet shot this gun, and I don't think I'm going to shoot this gun right off. I have a guy that's supposed to help me out and give me some measurements and stuff just to see how close I am on this locking pin. Like I said, all I have is pictures and just the gun itself trying to make it... Uh, make it work um, and so you know I'm just basically guessing <laughs> guesstimating on on this weapon so we just get it uh, get her there and uh, it's gonna be hard of course it's hard when you're doing this filming and doing it but you can see here maybe if I can get the camera to hold while I do it um, it will cycle the gun and so it still needs a little refinement but um, way better than it was uh, before so anyway that's the video uh, I'll probably share some more measurements and pictures uh, at the end here so there you go Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully it's helpful. Thanks. Bye.